Hey nerds, today's video is going to be six different nonfiction books I either really enjoyed or just think are really important and that you should read. So let's get into it. So first up, I have Dear Girls by Ali Wong. This book is Ali Wong, who's a comedian. She wrote this memoir, essentially, or maybe advice to her two daughters, which is why it's called Dear Girls. Um, <laughs> This book had me laughing, this book made me cry, this book was so cute. I just loved it a lot. It was very cute that it was written for her girls too, like, before reading it I thought that it was just like, dear girls in the world, no, but this is like to them and it just, ah, it was so cute. Um, especially if you like Ali Wong's comedy, she definitely still keeps that like feeling in it and she narrates the audiobook which I always recommend if it's in your capabilities to listen to the audiobooks by like especially for a memoir if they narrate it themselves and yeah just was real good I enjoyed I also have so you want to talk about race I read this earlier in the year during the time frame when a lot of the Black Lives Matter protests were happening and everything and I just felt like it was a really good starting point it really is made for somebody who doesn't know a whole lot about systemic racism and what's going on in the US so I appreciated that it is for the bare minimum because I feel like it's nice to have something that people who don't have a lot of information about it can really come in without feeling like like they're being told shouldn't you know this already which to a certain extent Yes, like you should know things already, but also if you don't and you're trying to learn, this is a really good place to start. I think that this is a very nice first step into the world of what you should know in regards to racism and like how fucked up our system is. So I think this was a good, a good book to read. I also just recently talked about in my wrap-up an indigenous people's history of the United States. Again, this is a very dry nonfiction. This is more of a textbook style and we basically get all of what happened when Europeans came to America, but we get all of the history on the Native American side of things, which is not often told from that perspective in our history books. And I really do think that this would be a very important thing to have as a required reading in history classes, like US history classes. Also during the time frame when a lot of the Black Lives Matter protests were going on, I read Open Season by Ben Crump. Ben Crump is a lawyer who has been representing a lot of the families who have had individuals die from cops. He goes through quite a few of his own experiences as a lawyer, some of the details of different things that he has dealt with um, to kind of show us how the systemic racism is happening and like how the justice system is not justice justified on the side of those who are killed by cops. Very deep and dark stuff. I also read Sapiens by Yuval, can't remember his last name, but it's on the book cover here. This book is a very brief, it is called a brief history, um, a very brief history of how humans evolved into humans. It is fascinating. It goes from the moment of how we became homo sapiens, like hundreds of thousands of years ago, through nomadism, agriculture, and how that changed everything, how the industrial revolution has changed the way we work. And basically he even talks about how currently today we're like, how Wally is not that far off. Like, I use that reference a lot, I've realized, but it really is a, a, an amazing reference of like the way that we as society are moving towards and like the thing that we should not want to move towards. This book was really fascinating. As a person who has an anthropology degree, it is very basic for me. Like I know a lot of what is in this book already with my education and background, um, but it is a wonderful like beginner's guide for somebody who doesn't have the, his the history of education that I do. 
it's it was just it's like it's like this is like the baby version of what I learned in college and everyone should read it because everyone should know all of these things it's so I just mm, I love learning about the human evolution and how we evolved into what we do now which is like my hobby is staring at a camera and talking to myself what in comparison to like all of the history so highly recommend that one it was my favorite one of this list let's just be real lastly i do have lunar abundance this book is like more like a workbook um and it follows the lunar cycle so you start at a new moon and you end at a full moon and you could do it every cycle um i borrowed this book from my friend so i ended up there's a lot of like spaces to write and stuff if you buy the book and you can write in it but i actually just used a journal and journaled all of the prompts in my journal and then read through all of the different things that this book talks about this is a book on like manifestation and kind of goal setting and stuff like that um and when i did this it was really just a wonderful time to do it i was at the peak of wanting to leave my job and i had the goal of finding a new job and so for this month i this book basically like sits you down and tells you okay so you made this goal for the month now set out what you're going to do about it and so it's very like specific um there's also some like if you're not into like juju stuff there is some stuff like sitting out and seeing the full moon and having crystals and stuff and you can do as much or little as you want with with those particular things but i tried to do as much as i could and there is like journal prompts every single day so yeah i really liked this one and i got a new job that month it was when i left the treatment center and went to the job i have now so i'm not saying that the book you know is magic i'm just saying that it does really set you out to follow your what you set out to do so yeah those are six nonfiction books that i really enjoyed think are important to read um i learned something i got something out of in various ways from dear girls that just was like a cute hilarious little bit emotional feeling to the really intense information like dry wise just dry information more like sapiens and like um the indigenous people's history to a really more like not personal to me but personal to a lot of people information about what's going on in the world right now like uh open season and so you want to talk about race to something that's more like personal development like lunar abundance so i hope that you'll pick up some of these books if not all of them i hope you got something out of this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already you can also find all of my links to all of the other platforms that you can follow me on and be friends with me and i'll see you guys with a new video i make videos every monday and saturday so i'll see you guys soon peace out bye